Hi guys, it's Dee and welcome to Dee's Yard. I am officially past my last frost date with no threat of freezing temperatures in the forecast. And it is finally time to plant my grapes on my arbor that I built a few months ago. And if you wanna check out that DIY, I'll make sure to link it here as well as down below. Grapes can be broken down into three basic varieties, American, European, and Muscadine. American grapes such as Concord or Niagara are the most cold hardy, while European grapes are usually better for wine versus the table and do best in warm, dry, Mediterranean type climates. Another type grown in the US is the Muscadine, which is native to the Southern United States and was the first native grape species to be cultivated here in North America. So let's see what grapes I went with. I went with two Triumph Muscadine grapes that I ordered from fastgrowingtrees.com. They are potted up grape vines. They are not bare root. And you guys, the ordering process was so easy. The shipment was fast. And look at the condition of these grape vines. They are so incredibly healthy and they even have grapes forming on them. Now I live in East Tennessee zone 7A and have very hot and humid summers, which causes fungal and disease issues for many non-native grape vines. For this reason, I chose to go with a grape that is native to the southeastern and south central United States, where the muscadine grapevine is well adapted to their native warm and humid climate, also needing fewer chilling hours than other known varieties and thrive in the summer heat. And not to mention that muscadine grapes are a superfruit. They have very high levels of antioxidants and all varieties of muscadine grapes are great to eat fresh, but also wonderful to make jams, jellies, pies, juices, and wines. I chose Triumph, which is a bronze self-fertile cultivar. It is cold hardy to zone seven and it is very disease resistant. Now, if you only desire or have room for one vine, make sure you choose a self-fertile cultivar Otherwise, you'll need additional vines for pollination purposes. Triumph has a medium large berry size and has a definite pinkish hue and an early to mid season harvest date. This is considered a high yielding vine and the fruit is very sweet and contains 18% sugar. When determining where to plant, select a site with full sun. If you don't have a spot with full sun, make sure it at least gets morning sun. A small amount of afternoon shade won't hurt. When you plant your grapes is dependent upon how you buy them. If you have dormant bare root grapes, you want to plant them in the early spring or late winter as soon as the soil warms up and you can work the ground. Because I have already potted up grapes, I'm going to plant as I would any other shrub or tree. Dig a hole two to three times the width of the root ball, but no deeper than the root ball height. I'm adding in pine bark soil conditioner, which is just grounded up pine bark to allow for drainage of my clay soil. I'm also adding in some organic compost to the planting hole. And just before planting, I add in some biotone starter fertilizer to help the roots get established. Next, water the grapes in thoroughly with a deep watering. No matter where you plant your grapes, you need to give them plenty of support to keep them growing strong. There are so many creative fencing and trellising you can use, but I'll be training mine on the arbor that I built. Whichever way you train your grapes, be sure to provide them proper air circulation to reduce the risk of disease. The absolute best time to prune your grapevine is late winter, early spring, while the vine is still dormant. Although pruning may seem counterproductive, it is very important to prune your vine and prune every year. Until my vine reaches the top of the arbor, I will be training it and keeping it pruned to a single liter. 
and removing any suckers. I want all the energy going into one single main vine. Before I make any cuts on this grapevine, I need to make sure to disinfect my pruners. So the first thing I want to do is determine what looks like the central leader or decide which one I want to keep as a central leader and then just prune off the rest. This one seems to be the longest. Let me see where that comes down to. Okay, so I've decided I want this as my central leader. So I need to just follow that down to make sure I don't prune that off. And I need to prune off the other ones that I don't want. So again, this may seem super harsh, but this is gonna be better in the long run because I don't want grapes producing all over the place. Okay, so it's just like pruning a tomato plant. You really want one single leader and you don't want any suckers in between the crotch of a leaf. And this one looks great. I don't see any suckers and this is gonna be my vine that's gonna reach all the way up. All right, so this one's gotten pretty bushy and kind of all tangled up, but I'm gonna get it untangled and then we're gonna take a look at it. Originally this looks like this was a central leader. This one from sure, I'm gonna take off. So now I'm left with this one that looks like the main leader and then it splits. And I'll take that one or this one. And I think I'm gonna go with this one. Just like the habit a little bit better. Okay. And you definitely want to prune off any sort of fruit that the plant is trying to produce because I, like I said, I want all of the energy going into the single stem to get it on top of that arbor. Looks like they're trying to produce some more fruit here. So we'll remove that. All right. So there are my two vines. Okay, so here's my single leader that I've decided to be my vine. I'm gonna have this grow all the way to the top of the arbor. And then I, at that point, I'll let it fruit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just attach it to this bamboo stick that I moved over here. And then I'm gonna start training it up the arbor. And to do this, I'm just gonna use some tomato garden tape that I have. So let me just recap on everything I just did. And I know that it looked like it was counterproductive because I cut off all the berries for this year's harvest, but that's what I need. I need it down to a single stem so I can send all the energy into this to reach all the way to the top of the arbor. And at that point I can let it produce grapes. So I have just a single stem here and none of these leaves have any sort of grapes on them. I did move the bamboo stake that it came with closer to the arbor and I used some tomato tape to attach the stake so I can start training it to climb up the arbor. Again, attach it to the arbor and I did the exact same to this other side. I decided what central leader I wanted and pruned off the other ones. And then I moved the bamboo stake that it came with over here closer to the arbor, attached some tomato tape, and again here to start training it up. And how I want to train the grapevine is to come up, wrap around this six by six, and come back out just above this lantern. And then on top at that point, let it fruit and let the grapes hang. Same thing on this side. I want the grapevine to come up, 
wrap around the six by six and come up just above the lantern. And at that point, let it go up to the pergola to fruit. I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of my grape vines as well as to show you how to properly prune in late winter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.